When it comes to the organic and natural food story, one of my favorite long-term themes, as I tell you and get rich carefully, my advice lately has been that you want to avoid most of the supermarkets, which are competing aggressively in this category, still like Kroger though, and instead buy the actual food makers, companies like Haines Celestial and White Wave Foods. Those have been big winners, they will remain so. But what about a company like United Nat Natural Foods? This is United Natural Foods is also known as UNFI by people. It's a leading distributor of natural, organic, and specialty foods. Everything from general growth groceries to produce, frozen foods, bulk and food service products, nutritional supplements, and even some personal care items. Basically, United Natural buys various food products from more than 6,000 suppliers, largest being Haines Celestial, another of our, you know, that's a favorite, and then it distributes these mainly natural and organic products to more than 40,000 locations, mostly supermarkets, Whole Foods being largest customer, 36% of sales. Lately, because Whole Foods has been having trouble, that's been a real drag on, on United Natural, causing the stock to decline more than 16% year to date. But this this company has a solid business with a history of making smart acquisitions, most recently buying Tony's Natural earlier this year. Its latest quarter was better than expected on both the top line and the bottom line. And last week, the company had a pretty darn positive analyst day up in Hudson Valley. Valley, is it time to buy this organic and natural food distributor that's down? Let's take a closer look with Steve Spinner, the president and CEO of United Natural Foods, learn more about his company and its prospects. Mr. Spinner, welcome to Mad Money. Thank Have you. a seat. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming on the show. Thank you. All right, Steve. I think that um, there's some guilt by association here. It looks like your company has just had each year bigger and bigger. You got so big that you've had to spend a lot of money building out distribution. Right. And yet it seems trapped by the stocks that are in the area that are all fighting each other. Aren't you kind of an arms dealer, don't really care who wins as long as more and more supermarkets are supplied? Yeah, I think at the end of the day, we're happy that consumers are demanding more and more natural, organic, and specialty products. And so we build a lot of capacity in order to satisfy that demand. And uh, we've been the lucky recipient of seeing the demand grow over the last couple of years and hope that it continues. Well, I would see the revenue growth 12%. Uh, one of the things that, I, that I st was struck me when I went through your presentation, that it's very clear that you've had to spend a lot to be able to build out a natural distribution network. But it also seemed that the national distribution network is almost done. So you're gonna see the fruits of the distribution without the spend beginning in a, in a short period of time. Yeah, I mean, in our business, you have to have the capacity, right? So if the industry grows 10, 11%, we typically grow organically 13, 14%, add on some M&A. We're up in the high, you know, 18, 19, 20% range. And we have to have capacity to satisfy that demand. And so that's why we've building, been building out these big, beautiful centers around the country. We think that uh, all that construction is probably going to abate sometime in two, our fiscal 2016. And then the earnings could really shine through, right? Well, I think the earnings have been pretty strong. Yes, they have been strong. Uh, it's just I'm trying to like, – look, there is some mystery because I think yeah. that what you're doing is amazingly strong. Yeah. And yet because I think people see Whole Foods down, they see some of these other stocks down, they presume that your business must be hurting. Well, I mean, there is a lot of increased competition in our space, especially right. in retail. Uh, as consumers demand more and more natural and organic product, they're more concerned about ingredients, products that are good for you. It, the retailers are carrying more of the product, and that's, that's good a, for us. That's a win for you. Yeah, now, we us. often talk about the center of, this, of the supermarket being challenged. You're the other part that's not challenged, right? Well, you know, we've always been experts in the center of the store, the core right. commodity, grocery, dry, refrigerated, frozen. But we also have the country's largest organic produce company in Alberts. We just acquired a terrific company in the West Coast called Tony's, right. which is a perimeter company that does a lot of food service, specialty cheeses, uh, specialty meats. So our view is we want to build out the store. We want to make sure that when a retailer wants to buy as many products as they pa possibly can in our space, we can provide it to them. Well, you gave a recent example. Dr. Oz said vitamin D is good, fish oil is good, and I'm going to mispronounce it, kom kom kombucha. kombucha is good. And the stores didn't necessarily have everything that Oz wanted, but you did, and you rushed it over to them. Yeah, I mean, we have 35, 40,000 SKUs per location. It's, it's more SKUs than, than any other Shopkeepers. competitor. Right. Uh, and, and so the beauty of our system is a lot of SKUs, a lot of concentration of distribution centers. We can get the product that the consumer demands into the shelf really quickly. And Liz, where are we in the revolution of wanting natural and organic? Is it younger people, older people, baby boomers? How broad is yeah. the demand for yeah. products like these? So I, I think that uh, millennials, there's a lot of demand 
for the products. It's the way they've grown up. But, you know, people my age, you know, they, we call them crossover consumers. Right. So they buy a little bit of both. But I believe that crossover consumers are continually buying more and more products in the natural and organic space, and that's going to continue. Well, if you're a crossover, therefore, would be, say, uh, be able to buy some of these on e-commerce, right? How's the e-commerce business doing? I, I think e-commerce is still small. There are certain categories of products that work really well in e-commerce. Right. But I think a lot of consumers still like to go to the store. What we need to do is make sure that we give our customers an e-commerce platform so that if they choose to go to market via e-commerce, either to the house, to the mm -hmm. store, that we can provide it for them and we have that. Got it. Well, you're in a great growth business, and I think people are confusing uh, your stock with those that are in a war of which you're the provider of the arms. That's Steve Spinner, the present CEO of United Natural Foods. you got to look this stock over because it's at much at a discount to where I would have expected it to be given how strong their business is. They have money's back after the break.